So yeah, he hits pretty hard, man. He's hidden for like 2k when he's throwing those rocks. I mean, his normal hits are garbage, but those rocks are just brutal. So you're definitely going to want to come in here with some dinos that have a decent amount of HP. What is going on, happy people? So we are going to do some boss fights because this weekend on Elite Arc, it is 50% more element from the boss fights. So I figured we would start on Rag because why not? And then we might go over to, I mean center, but we're going to start on center. And then we might go over to Rag later because Rag drops a little bit more element. But it also costs more points. So really, in the grand scheme of points to element, they both kind of drop the same amount, depending on what you're spending. I just find that this fight's a little bit faster and a little bit easier. So if you're just going to chain run them, in my opinion, this is the way to go. So it looks like we're getting both these guys at once. We're going to go for... Oh, of course. Now I'm trapped. Y'all go run that way. Let's go. We're going to go for Spider Broodmother first because she's super easy and squishy. I'm going to get stuck on everything in the meantime because why not? So I usually do this fight with Therese, but apparently... Rexes are the new buffed dino this season, so I decided that we're going to try it with this. Because why not? We got good Rexes. Figured, give it a shot. See what happens. Seems to be doing the trick just fine. Honestly, though, I think the Therese that I had last season killed Broodmother much quicker than this. But it's also week one, so it's not like we have ridiculously good dinos right now. And I don't really remember how the fight was going week one on last season. So for all I know that Therese did just as slowly. I'm stuck on spiders. Boring, let me out spiders. <laughs> These spiders are killing me, man. Why is my giant Rex getting caught on tiny little spiders? So yeah, he hits pretty hard, man. He's hidden for like 2k when he's throwing those rocks. I mean, his normal hits are garbage, but those rocks are just brutal. So you're definitely going to want to come in here with some dinos that have a decent amount of HP. Alright, so boss is down. One of the things you want to do after the boss is down so you can make sure you get all of the element is pull out a transfer tool. Go to all dinos, T-Rex, go to element, and make sure you pull everything out of there. So 1440, that's the amount we should have. That means I got all the element this, this fight. One of the other reasons I chose center is that sometimes, I don't know if it's patched out yet or not, but when you go to do the boss fight on rag, the last boss dragon whatever the hell it's called um doesn't give you all the element so you get element like a half the element that you're supposed to get and i know everybody says land on the let it land or don't let a dino kill it or make sure you kill it so i mean we tried everything we tried letting it land then sticking dinos on it we tried letting it land and then using shotguns on it and just sometimes you get the element sometimes you don't i kind of think it's just a it's up to chance so it's not really worth the risk in my opinion but um, yeah, that's it. That's it for the boss fight. It's pretty easy as long as you have pretty good dinos and good saddles. A lot of people I saw earlier in chat looking to try to go and do that alpha and beta to make sure that they could do it. Some of them already had said they're bringing a bunch of Rexes with them. So I don't really think there's much to freak out about it as long as you got a cap saddle. I mean, we went in with four Rexes right now. We probably could have done it with three. But uh, yeah, that's it. That's the boss fight here, at least on the center. So thanks for watching. And hopefully some people that haven't done this fight yet that are playing on the server, maybe some new people, uh, learn some stuff they didn't know before. All right, as you can see, we've done this fight plenty of freaking times already. Uh, this time I wanted to try it out with just theories. So we are going to go in there, I think with like eight or nine theories. I have a feeling that this is honestly the way to go. <clears throat> Even with the T-Rex buff, I think that the theories are still going to just do a lot better, honestly. 
Um, let me just grab a random one. Hopefully one that's imprinted to me. There we go. Yeah, I think this is. I think these are just going to put in a lot more work. Uh, I have a feeling that like the boss is just going to melt. So let's do it. Actually, want to change the whistle attack. Where are you? Whistle attack. My target. No whistle attack. To a different thumb button. There we go. All right, let's do this. I'm excited. We are gonna get this boss down quick, and then we're gonna do another one, and then another one, then another one, and so on and so forth. But I am here to prove that theories are still amazing because they always have been. Last season they were even better because they had the damage buff, but I mean, let's face it, theories wreck. All right, so we got lots of theories. Let's go ahead and do this. I'm pretty excited because I want to prove that theories are still badass, which, I mean, they always have been. Last season, they were really good because they had that damage buff, and everybody this season was like, Rexes are great, Rexes are going to be the new thing, and Rexes are great, but let's face it, they're big, their turn radius sucks, they're a pain in the ass to use, so really, I just wanted to do this again with theories. I have a feeling that we're going to melt the boss. Like, I think I have eight theories here, maybe nine, and... I feel like this is going to go a lot quicker than the Rexes. One, because we had more dinos, and two, because theories are amazing. So let's go. Let's see what happens. I'm excited. I was hoping to. Oh my god, I'm stuck now. That's just crazy. I was hoping that these things were separated so I could just do one at a time, but they're not. So we are just going to go balls deep. Here we go. Let's go, Melter. Yeah, this seems to be doing the. This definitely seems to be doing the trick. She's going down super quick. She's down, so now we switch it over. Come on, my friends. Look at this, so much easier turn. rocks hurt. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm out of stamp. Let's get some stamp for a second. And he's going down. Alright, so I know in the last video I showed you that the best thing to do when you're done with the fight is to use a transfer tool and pick everything. But if you don't happen to have a transfer tool, you can always just use the cloud. Search for element. Select everywhere the element is and just pull it that way. And there you have it. All the element ready to go. While we're waiting this 40 seconds, I'm going to start converting it. And that's it. Yeah, so I definitely think theories are the way to go with this. One, they don't take up as much space. And I mean, I guess if you had eight or nine 
Rexes, they would tear up just as much, but they're so big and you get stuck on each other. And this is just more convenient, in my opinion. But I mean, use what you got. If you don't have theories, use Rexes. If you, if you don't have Rexes, use theories. You could, if you wanted to save yourself some time on healing, you could always throw a UD out and do a UD buff before everything starts. Or you could just have them fighting while you UD buff them the whole fight. But I'm too lazy for that, so we didn't do that. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully this taught you guys something, um, at least about the boss fights here. Or if you've seen it or done them already, which I'm sure most of you already have, hopefully it was at least a little bit entertaining. So that's it. Uh, thank you for watching. If you can, like and subscribe. Any little bit helps since I'm an up and coming. And I appreciate it. See you all later.